What's a quote that permanently changed the way you look at things? You might be the sweetest peach on the tree, but some people just don't like peaches. This helped me get over my lifelong desire to be liked by everyone and allowed me to focus on becoming someone I actually liked. Anyone else read this in a southern accent? LOL. I've had a lot of worries in my life. Most of which never happened. Dash. Mark Twain. Found it on a workbook for anxiety disorders. My therapist once told me that living in the future is anxiety, living in the past is depression. Only good way is to live in the present moment. Good luck. Ha. Long time ago I was meeting two women on the sidewalk, and just as we passed each other I heard this one sentence from one of them. You don't notice your progress in life, because you are always raising the bar. Don't set yourself on fire to keep others warm. This helped a lot with my guilt and burgeoning martyr complex. And now that you don't have to be perfect, you can be good. John Steinbeck east of eden this is the one worrying only means you suffer twice graveyards are full of irreplaceable people that quote helped me stop going down the path of working myself to death because my job needs me it's easy to fool someone it's hard to convince them that they've been fooled one of the saddest lessons of history is this if we've been bamboozled long enough we tend to reject any evidence of the bamboozle. We are no longer interested in finding out the truth. The bamboozle has captured us. It's simply too painful to acknowledge, even to ourselves, that we've been taken. Once you give a charlatan power over you, you almost never get it back. Carl Sagan. The bee doesn't waste its time trying to convince a fly that honey is better than speep. That mountain you've been carrying, you were only supposed to climb, really helped me overcome a lot of traumatic experiences and difficult chapters in my life. I hope it helps someone else out there. Courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes it is a quiet voice at the end of the day saying, I will try again tomorrow. Dash. Mirian Radmisher. I came across this a long time ago, at a point in life, that I really needed this lesson. It's okay if I feel sad and resigned. If my depression beat me for today and I wasn't able to function. I didn't fail. I'm not weak. I will try again tomorrow. Courage is not the towering oak that sees storms come and go. It is the fragile flower that blossoms in the snow. Worrying only means you suffer twice. When people show you who they are, believe them. Dash. Mayor and Jalal. Dear Abby's response to a writer thinking of going back to school, but worried that she will be 40 by the time she got her degree. How old will you be in 4 years, if you don't get your degree? You are going to be 40 anyway with or without your degree. It reminded me that letting age stop me from my plans was just silly. Also, working at a community college and seeing so many people going back to school in their 30s, 40s, 50s and thriving. The quote really spoke to me. I went back to school in my late 20s. Gonna graduate after turning 33 this year and I'm super jazzed to have gained all these new skills. Undefined. Assume whoever you're listening to knows something you don't. The axe forgets. The tree remembers. Zimbabwean proverb. People don't forget how they were treated. That's why it's so important to be kind. Edited to add, I honestly did not expect this to blow up. Thanks y'all. I saw this one time under a post about parenting, and it stuck with me. As a mother of two stubborn toddlers, some days are rough, and filled with thin patience and frustration. I use this quote, to remind myself that how I'm with them will be what helps to shape them. My husband and I set the example for them, and both of us had crappy childhoods. I don't want them traumatized, like I was as a child. I want them to be molded with love, not negativity. Never be so kind you forget to be clever, and never be so clever you forget to be kind. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. 
The second best time is now. Reminds me if... Six months from now, you'd wish you'd started six months ago. Don't let a wishbone grow where a backbone should be. It's no use wasting time worrying what other people think about you. No one is thinking about you. And remember to take care of yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. Been living up to those ideals recently, and I feel I have just started living. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. Aristotle. And yes it isn't the real quote, but elementary school aged me internalize that thought and I have applied it to everything ever since then. Your kid isn't giving you a hard time. They're having a hard time. The only way out is through. Never attribute to malice, that which can be adequately explained by stupidity. Hanlon's razor. Not everyone's out to get you. There are a lot of stupid people in the world. You cannot convince people to love you. This is an absolute rule. No one will ever give you love because you want him or her to give it. Real love moves freely in both directions. Don't waste your time on anything else. Cheryl Strayed. Fake love is mighty convincing in a world where real love is mighty rare. Just because you lost me as a friend doesn't mean you gained me as an enemy. I still want to see you eat just not at my table. I've been dealing with a few fizzled friendships slash relationships lately and this is so on point. The last thing I wish for is for them to be f peeped over. At the same time, I don't need to see your face. Be afraid, but do it anyway. Kerry Fisher. I can do anything but I can't do everything. If you're trying to break a habit, don't say back quote this is the last time I'm doing it to yourself. Instead, say back quote this is the first time I'm not doing it. The first draft is just you telling yourself the story. Dash. Terry Pratchett. I'm not sure why this quote struck me so hard, but it completely changed the way I approach writing. Just get your ideas down in rune and sentences, and decides to yourself and loads of at parts you haven't figured out yet. It took me more than 30 years to realize that a first draft isn't just a rough version of the final draft. It's a map for yourself, and no one else. We're all critics. We're all so good at recognizing what's peepty about something, but then we're all so bad at making something. So just make something bad, and then criticize it until it's good. Dan Harmon. Look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. On it everyone you love. Everyone you know. Everyone you ever heard of. Every human being who ever was. Lived out their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering. Thousands of confident religions. Ideologies. And economic doctrines. Every hunter and forager. Every hero and coward. Every creator and destroyer of civilization. Every king and peasant. Every young couple in love. Every mother and father. Hopeful child. Inventor and explorer. Every teacher of morals. Every corrupt politician. Every superstar. Every supreme leader. Every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Carl Sagan. Pale blue dot. Paraphrased when people act crazy, they're either actually crazy, which is unlikely, or there's a good reason for their behavior that you just haven't figured out. Dr. David Burns in his book Feeling Good Together. Excellent book about getting along with people and trying to understand them. Undefined. It's worth mentioning that, in my quote, crazy really refers to surprising or unreasonable behavior not genuine me at illness and good reason refers more to an explanation for the behavior. The point of the quote is, to not write people off, because you don't understand them. That is a concept in teaching too. Every behavior meets a need. Basically when kids are acting out, if we can figure out what need is being met by the behavior, we can figure out a better way, to address that issue and resolve the behavior. I visited Pearl Harbor this week and the one that struck me was, there were many acts of heroism that day, not all of them recorded. It reminds me, that even when nobody is watching, it's still important to put forward your best. K. 
character is what you do when no one is looking. Everyone is somebody else's weirdo. Can I adopt a weirdo? Honey, I hope it's the worst thing that ever happens to you. From my dad, when I was complaining about something. He probably didn't intend for it to be deep or anything but it puts things in perspective. I think of it all the time. Sometimes I have to tell myself, if that's the worst thing that happens to me all day, it will be a pretty good day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.